93 WIBC, it's Terry Stacy. Well, joining us this morning is Jared Krisiloff. He's the son of former race car driver Steve Krisiloff. You may know his name. A member of the legendary Holman George family, and he's currently the Indianapolis Motor Speedway Senior Director of Marketing. Uh, but something completely different, he's about to embark on one of the craziest adventures for charity that I have really ever heard of in my 27 years here at WIBC. How are you, Jared? Uh, that is, I'm great. That's quite an introduction. <laughs> Well, this is quite an adventure. The adventure is called the Rickshaw Run, and I've never heard of it before. Where did you hear about it, Jared? Well, I, I actually heard about it through a classmate of mine at Ohio University. Um, we were we were talking about you know an extracurricular activity that we could do as part of our our coursework, really to raise money for charity and and kind of re- reunite all of us together, to do some good. And uh, someone he had came up with a you know a crazy idea. It's like he had heard about this event, this rickshaw run event. And he said, "Let's go do that," and that's how we're going to raise money for charity. <laughs> now this this is so you've never done this before. This is your first time that you'll be attempting the rickshaw run. And where does it take place? Well, it, it takes place in India, okay. and it's a a fourteen day, about two thousand miles. Um, rally across the you know the, the the northern part of India in the desert, all the way down to the southern coast in a rickshaw. And a, and a lot of people when I tell them the story, they're like, in a rickshaw, you're running. Yeah, that's what you pulling. think. Yeah, yeah, you're you're pulling a you know a a rickshaw two thousand miles. And it's it's not um, a Thailand rickshaw or a Chinese rickshaw. It's an Indian rickshaw. And those are a little three wheeled vehicles that um, have a two stroke motor. With about seven horsepower that we're going to cram ourselves into. It's it sounds like, and I think it's been described as when you look at the website, it's described as as a lawnmower. With the, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's a it's a they actually a glorified lawnmower. Yeah, glorified <laughs> lawnmower. That's right. I probably should get the put the glorified because it is a glorified. <laughs> and so the two, will you do it with somebody in the rickshaw with you, or do you do it alone? Well, there's there's three of us that are on a team, and um, my teammates are um, classmates of mine at Ohio University, and that's really the program. The program, um, you know, we're, we're we're all professionals in the sports industry, and we're pursuing extra education at at Ohio University, which has a phenomenal sports program. And uh, as part of that, the challenge is to, to unite and create something. So, uh, create something for for charity or to raise money. So. We really thought about okay, well, what can we do that's a you know a crazy idea? What can we do that takes a lot of commitment um, to showcase you know the commitment of our classmates, the strength of the program, but also do something good? So um, I got two classmates. One you know runs baseball in our Alberta, Canada, and the other is the uh, the director of snowboarding for the Mexican snowboarding team. Oh my goodness! <laughs> and. Uh, so, you know, we're kind of coming from all different perspectives here, and, and we're actually not going to unite until we get to India. So we're kind of all planes, trains, and automobiles until we get there, and then we'll uh, oh, try and sort sort out our adventure across the country. Oh, my goodness. Again, this is several thousand miles. This isn't just a little journey. This is a big adventure for 14 days. It's called the Rickshaw Run, and you've described a little bit what the rickshaw looks like. You So when you enter into the Rickshaw Run, that you, you get get a rickshaw and then do you actually kind of uh decorate it and paint it and and do you have time to do all of that to make it really your own well it, it, it's it's actually a really neat process so right now we are we're designing our rickshaw and um it's going to be brightly colored <laughs> so that everybody can see us <laughs> and it's going to have our you know ohio university colors and of course the mascot rufus the bobcat on oh sure it. oh that's and, perfect and, and so we design it here, and you can design it with pen, paper, pencil, crayons, you know, sophisticated commu- computer or, uh, software, and then we submit it. And then what they do, the you know, the organizer of the event matches up with a local artist who is actually going to paint our rickshaw for us. So when we arrive there, um, he or she, some local artist in India, will have painted it to kind of our design. Oh, that's so cool. It, 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 it's pretty wild. All the teams have completely different you know paint jobs uh, or whatever you want to call them and it's a lot of fun and then when we get there we uh we get a day or so to learn you know the ropes how to drive it how to fix it um how to navigate around india because in india the roads are no holds barred i mean there are zero driving rules or restrictions other than try to stay on, on the 
on one side of the road versus the other, and it's opposite driving direction in the United States. The driving on the website on Rickshaw Run, it tells you that these these rickshaws are prone to to, to breaking down. That's absolutely correct. Yeah. You know, they, there was a rickshaw run that took a different route you know, about a month ago, and I followed along just to see how people interacted with each other while it was happening. And and on a daily basis, and sometimes on a, it, it happened multiple times on a daily basis, people break down for various reasons. Oh, you know, these, you know, they're, they're taking a, a, a two-stroke lawnmower, 2,000 miles, and then there's wear and tear, whether it's you know, the, the roads aren't very good there. So, you know, a lot of times they go down roads that have massive potholes or, you know, they're going off-road, they're on-road. You know, there's there's so many things that I think can go wrong or beat up on these things that you're constantly fixing them. I and that's that's really part of the challenge, right? Yeah. It, you know, it's, it'd be one thing to hop in a car, drive 2,000 miles. It'd be one thing to, I mean, I guess you could do other vehicles, but this is really a an obscure primitive vehicle that's meant to, take people from building to building within a city not to go across the country let alone a country the size of india how fast does it go uh they say it goes about 35 miles an hour but i bet we can get a little bit higher than that going downhill (laughs) somewhere where do you sleep well it's it's definitely a choose your own adventure you know i mean our plan is once we get there